Also here for a police pursuit through Riverside and Dayton on Sunday becomes one of several recent incidents that could have threatened public safety. A man opened fire on officers as he fled, and now a Montgomery County judge is trying to crack down on people who run from police. D News reporter Adam Reif is live in the newsroom with new information. Judge James Pierges spoke passionately about trying to save lives of children and families in the community, but also the drivers themselves who flee from police. He says it's just not worth it. We have to send a message, especially to our young people, that you can't fly through town at 90 miles an hour and endanger the rest of the populace. Judge Purgis committed to making a difference after two teens were killed in March after trying to get away from police. They fled a traffic stop, spent through Trotwood, eventually slammed into an RTA bus at an estimated 100 miles an hour. Now in Judge Purgis's Montgomery County Western Division courtroom, anyone convicted of fleeing and eluding police is sentenced to 180 days in jail, no questions asked. I meet with the local chiefs twice, twice a year. And and uh, I told them it was coming, and they were all in favor of it, and they asked me, they encouraged me to, to go forward with it. Judge Purgis says it was a difficult decision, but he says it's necessary to deter people from putting others at risk. No judge likes to impose jail, but I think sometimes it's the only way to get the message across, and, and I would like to, to encourage um, my friends on the bench to, to consider this. The judge says he's seen a noticeable change, not just in court, but in the community. A few days ago, he was at a neighborhood watch meeting. There was a lady in the audience who indicated that one of her nephews had come before me and it was actually doing time. And her statement to me was he got exactly what he needed because he didn't, he didn't respect anybody. Now, the judge says he's already sentenced three people to the maximum 180 day sentence. Previously, an offender could spend as little as a few days in jail waiting for a court date. Sometimes they avoided jail time altogether. Live in the newsroom, Adam Rife, 2 News, working for you.